in a time, there lived a Creole mouse named Chicory. One morning, she climbed into a picnic basket to nibble on some French bread, and she fell fast asleep. A nice New Orleans family had packed the basket with their favorite foods, such as roast beef po'boys, Creole tomatoes, and pecan pralines. As Chicory napped, she was carried away to a picnic on the humid day. When she awoke, Chicory discovered that the basket was smack dab in the middle of the swamp. There were cattails and beautiful swamp lilies all around her. This must be Cajun country, thought Chicory, because it looked like pictures she had seen on postcards in the French Quarter. She decided to go exploring, and soon she met a friendly Cajun field mouse. Rue was pushing a red wheelbarrow. What exactly are you doing? asked Chicory, the Creole mouse. Rue explained that this was a strange question. Still, he explained that he was simply gathering items for his lunch. Welcome to Acadiana. Would you care to join me for a meal? Chicory was just about to reply when a long, bumpy, slimy, green nose nudged her. Yikes! It was an eight-foot alligator with 80 teeth. His mouth was wide open and ready to chomp. To the hungry gator, the two mice looked and smelled like a snack. Run, shouted Rue. The mice darted to the tip-top of an enormous cypress tree. Rue knew what to do. Wait him out. He'll lose interest. Trust me, said Rue bravely. Sure enough, the gator was soon distracted by a couple of passing egrets. Luckily, he decided to chase them instead. Deep into the swamp he went, far away from Chicory and Rue. Picking up where they'd left off, the mice shared a lunch of crawfish tail and thistle seed jambalaya. They followed with a dessert of fresh blackberries and satsuma wedges. Very delicious, said Chicory, politely, but secretly she felt sorry for Rue. He had worked so hard for such boring food, so Chicory invited Rue to come with her to the city of New Orleans. We'll ride back in the picnic basket, Chicory explained. Promise me that you'll stay quiet until I tell you the coast is clear. Okay, replied Rue, who'd never traveled outside of Cajun country in his entire life. Cajun mice lived in the southwest Louisiana countryside. Creole mice usually lived in the city of New Orleans. As they sat high atop colorful ladders, they cut a lot of Mardi Gras beads. They were purple, green, and gold, the colors of Mardi Gras. Chicory and Rue saw the king and queen of the Bradicus. Throw me something, mister, the mice shouted. Rue had always heard that the parades in New Orleans made everyone happy, and everything he had heard was true. The crowds, the costumes, the huge floats were all so impressive. He had a great time collecting beads, doubloons, and even decorated coconuts. Wasn't this the most fun you've ever had? You sure know how to pass a good time, answered Rue. Still, I fess, I like our Mardi Gras. Better. We go from house to house collecting ingredients for a huge gumbo. Then the gumbo is shared by everyone in the community. We have a fantastic parade with wagons, floats, and horses, too. That night, in the French Quarter, Chicory showed Ruth all the scrumptious food on the buffet table. They saw shrimp creole, oysters bienville, and beignets with lots of powdered sugar. Now feast your eyes on all of this, said Chicory, but proudly. But suddenly, they heard a familiar sound. Quick, hi, warned Chicory. But why, asked Rue. Somebody's coming. Hurry, cried Chicory as she led the way to a hiding place behind a huge Mardi Gras king cake. Now be very quiet, she whispered loudly. Just then, Rue saw a giant shadow fall across the table. Oh, my heavens, a woman's voice squealed. That awful mouse has been on my table again. I've had it. I'm going to get my cat Arabella. This instant. Oh, no, we must hurry if we want any food, said Chicory. 
Poirot had time for just one bite of king cake before his new friend shouted, In Terabella, run for your life! They rushed through a hole in the wall to a much safer hiding place. It was Chicory's home. Rue looked around, catching his breath. Finally, he said, I'm glad we're safe now, but that was just too close. All the fancy food is not worth the risk involved. I think it's time to get back home to Cajun country, Rue said. I'll hop a ride on one of the seafood trucks heading in that direction. As he got ready to catch his ride home, Rue asked, Chicory, would you like to come with me and move to the swamp? No, thank you, answered Chicory. This is my home. Besides, I'm a city girl, and I'd miss the excitement of the Big Easy. Here, I have to deal with one crazy cat, but no alligators, thank goodness. Suit yourself, said Rue. But when I get back home, I don't think I'll be leaving there again. We each live exactly where he belong. we belong, he continued. But do me just two small favors, will you? Sure. First, promise you'll stay in touch, said Rue. And second, try not to let yourself become mouse-flavored cat food. He smiled and waved goodbye. At least I won't be an alligator snack, Chicory shuddered back as the truck drove away. And that, my friend, would be the end. And they lived, hint, it rhymes with snappily, clever laughter. Be proud of where you come from. Be thankful for what's on your plate. The grass always seems greener in another part of the state. Song of Rue, the Cajun Mouse. You say the city's better, and I ask, how can that be? There's too much noise and traffic for a bayou boy like me. Yes, I love my little shack. You can keep your big town house. That's not my cup of tea. I'm a simple country mouse. There's too much going on here. It really makes me dizzy. It seems your Crescent City is too crowded and too busy. Carnival and tourists will drive me nuts, you see. I hope you'll understand if we agree to disagree. We'll agree to disagree. It's the thing to do. I know. You like your uptown dancing. I prefer fade au dos. Your father came from Paris and mine from Acadie. We're French, but not the same. So let's agree to disagree. Song of Chicory, the Creole Mouse. The city is much better. It's really worth exploring. I want things at a fast pace. The country is too boring. I like my own traditions. I'm a proud French Quarter mouse. I'd rather go make groceries and not grow them in, near my house. The way that you make gumbo, I'm not accustomed to it. And what you call Mardi Gras is nothing like we do it. Oh, you cannot change my mind. We just see things differently. But since we're good friends now, we'll agree to disagree. Let's agree to disagree and enjoy the lives we've known. You like your Cajun fiddle. I like trumpet and trombone. You say your life is better, though it makes no sense to me. Here in Louisiana, we agree to disagree. <laughs>